If you're wondering if you're going to have a regular social life as an engineering student, life is a blast when you know what you're doing. But if engineers can still party and have a awesome college experience, shake that. We're talking all about that in this video, and we're starting right now. Ah! Woo! Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees, and you are watching the 1% Engineer Show, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. If this is your first time here, and you want to be a successful engineer, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I noticed that this was a popular search query in YouTube long ago, and have been wanting to make this video ever since. And it is a time of year when many students are choosing their majors, committing to engineering for fall 2018, and I do see a little bit of anxiety on Quora and Reddit and other YouTube comments about social life and if engineers can still party, if they can hang out with their friends, if they can have a normal college experience as an engineer. And it's an understandable concern. Everyone knows that engineering is hard work and you end up taking more classes and doing more homework and having harder projects and exams are nuts as an engineering student. And a lot of people wanna have a good experience overall in college. They don't wanna just work like crazy for four years. That's what you're gonna do for the rest of your life. So they want to at least enjoy it. So I made this video to talk about the three reasons why you can still have a good social life and still party as an engineer. Comment below if you're gonna be an engineer who parties and if social life in college is important to you. I personally had a fine social life in university and did okay, got into grad school, had multiple internships along the way, but I understand the concerns, guys. And aspect number one is what engineers often talk about, which is the work hard, play hard mindset. Yes, we put in a ton of time and have extra homework and more studying than is required for an exam. But all the engineers that I was friends with and most of them that I knew at University of Delaware still found time to party, still would go out maybe even Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night and have a normal social life, maybe not go too wild on Saturday if you had a big project or know you had to study or had to do a bunch of homework on Sunday. But honestly, still most of them did, especially early on, I think freshman and sophomore year is when students have a little bit more social life on the balancing scale. And then they kind of hunker down towards later in sophomore year. And definitely within junior year, you get a little bit more serious as a student. But at Delaware, there was an engineering fraternity and sorority. There was definitely all types of what I would call normal, non-stereotypical engineers within my classes. And I know they had regular social lives. They went out, they hung out with their friends, did whatever college students do. I'm not gonna, and it was fine. And in a lot of ways, what happens when you work really hard throughout that week, yes, you may not be able to go to parties on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, but you work hard throughout the week, you put in your time and you deserve to take that time off. And what some people call is concentrated fun, where you just while out on a Friday or Saturday with your friends and it's kind of like your decompression period. And I think students who really hustle throughout the week and have to grind like engineering students do, we have a much higher appreciation for this work hard, play hard sort of balance. And it means when the weekend is finally here, it is on. Woo! Point number two is that college is still college. For the rest of my life, if I could go back and repeat those four years over and over and over again on repeat, I would definitely choose that. It's some of the best times of our lives, socially, academically, what we learn, who we meet, the types of professors that we're able to connect with, and the smartest people throughout their university experience understand this, and they know that if you just stay pent up in your room and in the library for four years straight, you're going to hate that experience. You're certainly gonna miss out on the friendships. You're gonna miss out on a lot of fun experiences socially, and going to cool restaurants, and going out to doing whatever activities are popular in your area, in your city, in your college town. And I think the opportunity cost of getting slightly higher GPAs, or just getting an A, a plus instead of a B plus or A minus is just not worth it. And most students that are not total anti-social reclusive type students, they fully understand this. They have an appreciation for the other things in your life, like the friends you will meet and like the fun experiences, like the travel that you can do on the weekends or whatever you want to do. But you have to find that balance and college is still college after all. So missing out on these things means that you are severely inhibiting your ability to grow as a human, your ability to have fun, your ability to relax and revitalize your energy, your mind and your body from a hard week and maybe a hard period of weeks throughout engineering. 
So you have to make sure that you're enjoying the college experience because it is some of the best years of your life, guys. So don't take that for granted. Don't forget to have fun in college. And point number three in this video is that we are still social creatures after all. And the best friendships, even with other engineers, will happen in social environments. You will not build the best bonds with people while you're doing homework and while you're working on projects. It's when you actually can separate yourself from that work environment, from that college environment, and have a good time and have some drinks or whatever you guys do, or go to that party or go to that music show or take that weekend trip or whatever you're up to. But these are the times, these are the instances, these are the environments where you're gonna solidify the best connections with other people. And that is so important. We see the same in the professional sector. You may go away for a conference, and during that conference, you'll meet people and exchange business cards. But it's when people actually go out for drinks later and go out to restaurants later that the true friendships, the true connections are made that will change your life and change your career, create partnerships and collaborations and clients meet service providers and product developers or whatever. But it's the same as an engineering student, guys. Most of the best friends in my life are my college friends. And you do not want to put yourself through a situation where you're missing out on building bonds with these people. I mean, even to somebody who doesn't like your stereotypical college party environment, if we're talking about your engineering clubs, your engineering societies, they're going to have get togethers, they're going to have little parties and socials and things like this. And you're going to be able to connect with these engineers, connect with these other college students so much better. But if you didn't go to that party, if you didn't create time for your social life, then you're never going to put yourselves in these situations to create these connections, to create these bonds. And you're never going to have that strategic relationship for career success later or connection to an internship or who knows, you never know. I've kept in touch with most of the engineers that I was friends with at Delaware and we had that friendship because of the social stuff we did together, the parties that we went to together, the fun that we had together, not because we sat next to each other in class or we did projects together. So I look back at the time that I spent and sure, I could have studied more and could have maybe gotten better grades, but I'm super happy the balance that I struck between having fun and building better relationships and enjoying college and playing hard after I worked hard. And I feel like I can look back and be pretty content with sort of trying to at least do the yin and yang and do both and balance it all out. So those are my three points about why engineers can still party, why you can still have a good social life. And as long as you put in the time and make sure that you are actually utilizing good time management and good judgment on how you spend your time. You wanna make sure that you're not procrastinating your studying instead of pretending to study because then you should probably just be out with your friends if you're gonna do that. So yes, engineering is a bunch of work. It requires a lot of time management and productivity, but I do not think it is impossible. And over that first year, you're gonna figure out how to be productive with your time. You're gonna figure out what is truly required to get good enough grades on exams and homeworks. And through that period, you're gonna be testing out these social balances as well. If you enjoyed this video, guys, and wanna be a successful engineer, start now by subscribing subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. If you have a question about anything in your engineering journey, leave it below in the comments. If you want access to the Facebook group or the 1% engineer kit, you can follow the links in the description. Thanks again for 5,000 subscribers. Check out another video after this one, guys. I have over 90 episodes so that you can win in your career. Thanks again for watching the 1% engineer show, guys, and stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% engineer. Cheers.